What's going on, guys? Well, today we're going to switch out <coughs> some tires. Get rid of the stock ones. Got me a set of 1.9 Super Swampers TSL. And we're going to swap these bad boys on and see what we can't get done with these things. Because these ones are slipping a lot. They didn't have, you can see they don't have much traction left anymore. Yeah. Pain in the ass. So, oh, hey. So we got this little workbench set up here, finally. That's the way I can do these without the kids bugging me. And no, um, no interruptions. So we're gonna see if these super swampers are any better than what I have on. Hopefully they are. And they have foams in them too, so I'm gonna try to run foams again this year. And then we'll go from there. See if it's better or worse. So how'd you guys like that crawling video yesterday? I told you I'd eventually do it. It's pretty fun. Could have been better. I don't know why it was flipped upside down like that. For some... so probably because I was using a selfie stick and I hit record and it, then it... I had to flip it upside down. So I mean, if I would have flipped it upside down then hit record, it wouldn't have been as bad. It was pretty fun. We're going to try to go back out there and... Try to get some more. Wish I could find some music to put on here without getting a copyright. Cause that would suck. I don't, I don't want none of that. So I'm thinking about getting a new rig. What do you guys think? Oh yeah, different size. Any of them else like that? No. Let's see. Yes, that one there. Not it either. Alrighty. Well, I'm gonna get this tore down and then I'll get back with you guys. Alright, I had to go find my other toolkit or TJ's other toolkit. Let me know what you guys want to see. Like, give me some ideas. Like I said, I'm new to this. So give me some ideas. Just let me know. Give me a try to help me out. There we go. The last one. There's the bead. Popped up. There's the other bead. Right there. No foams. Put these in the front. I guess it really matters, does it? Nope. 
This is a pain in the butt though, I know that. Probably gonna see me fail. <laughs> I'm horrible, and I mean horrible, at doing this kind of putting wheels on. Pain in the butt. And I mean a pain in the butt. But I'll get it. All right, let me get this started so we don't take too long recording, and then I'll get back with you guys. Finally. <laughs> Had to use a vise. Worked, though. Now it should be easy sailing from here just to get them all on. Maybe. Shouldn't really have too much of an issue, though. a possibility that I do have an issue which would one way or another to get done there's actually a bit of size difference in these like Stock one's got maybe, I don't know, just a little bit, just a little bit taller. But that's not really a big deal. But I don't know, it's got a little bit of, a little bit, about the same size and width. It's just the swampers have bite on the side, which these had nothing. So hopefully these will do me a lot better. I'm going to finish it up because I know this video is going to be boring of me just tightening bolts. Ain't really no fun. Alrighty, well, when I get it put back together, put back on the truck, I'll show it to you guys. Got the tires on. Got me a new body. Thanks to TJ. Thank you, TJ. Appreciate it. Got a light bar with it. I'm going to change that out. I don't like it that much. Uh, my stinger bumper. My winch. Need remote control and all that for that. I think about putting fender wheels in. I think that might be a good idea. But I mean, it does what it needs to do. And I like it, so <laughs> that'll work. And there's TJ. There's my old body right there. There's his other truck. But we got us a little stand going on. That's going to be it for today, guys. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.